Now let's talk about how we can use lists to solve word problems. The question in front of us says, container A, B, and C each contain 3,600 milliliters of water. 1,450 milliliters of water from container A was poured into container C, and 2,010 milliliters of water from container B was poured into container A. As a result, how much more water was there in container A than in container B? We're going to use a list from this chart that we have in front of us to show the changes. So to start, we're going to say that each container, A, B, and C, had 3,600 milliliters of water. So we're going to start off by just saying at the beginning they all had the same amount. Container A, B, and C all had 3,600 milliliters of water. So let's fill that in the first row here. Now, the second row from A to C goes with the second sentence. 1,450 milliliters of water from container A was poured into container C. So container B we haven't really dealt with here. That's going to stay the same. Nothing changed in container B. But container A had some water poured out of it, so it's going to have less in it now. So we're going to subtract from container A. So we start off with our 3,600, we subtract the 1,450 that was poured into C, and that's going to give us a total of 2,150. And that's again in milliliters, and that's our total after the first step for A. Now C is going to get bigger since we're pouring water from A into C. So we're going to start off with the same 3,600, and this time we're going to add the 1,450, because it's going from A into C. That's going to give us a total of 5,050. And again, that's in milliliters. All right, now the next step. 2,010 milliliters of water from container B was poured into container A. This time container C isn't changing, so we're going to leave our total in container C as 5,050 milliliters. But now container B is having water poured out of it. So we're going to start off with our 3,600. We're going to subtract the 2,010 that was poured out and that's going to give us a total of 1,590 milliliters. Now container A is going to end up with more in it. We're going to start off with our 2,150 that we had from the last step and then container B is going to be pouring in a positive 2 2010. So we're going to be adding that. So that's going to give us a total of 4,160 milliliters in A. Now the question is asking us how much more water was in A than in B. So now we're simply going to subtract. We have 4,160 milliliters in A and we're going to take away the 1,590 milliliters in B to find our difference of 2,570 milliliters. So that's the answer that we can put on our line here, 2,570 milliliters.